Abraham, let us be done. Last time you will try this nonsense with me. You hear me? The next time you try, you hit me. Raymond, what is this about? How many times have I told you to not touch my stuff without my permission? How many times? What? This is about the car? Yes, it's about my car. My car! Abiodun, you have yours. My car! So what are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? I don't want you. You hear me? I ran out of wealth and I used your car to take our children, our children to school, Raymond. So what is wrong with that? You had the common sense, Biodun, to fill up that car stand. Oh, Move please! It. Stop harassing me in my office, Raymond. I'm harassing you. Do you realize I just missed out on an important meeting this morning? And you were just wasting some more time standing right there telling me nonsense about taking your car to take the you kids shut to up! Shut up! I'm gonna shut up! And apologize for once in your life! What, you take my stuff without my permission and then you stand there and have an exchange with me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I am your wife for crying out loud and what belongs to you belongs to me! Is it? Now, that's not you include my car keys, my phone, my credit cards, everything. Everything, that... Raymond. Everything that belongs to you belongs to me. If you have nothing to hide, why are you fretting? This will be the very last time I'm going to warn you about this. The next time you try it, take my word for it, Abiodun. You'll not like my reaction. Stay away from my stuff! Raymond, uh, what happened to you this morning? Alex. Uh, man, I'm sorry. All right, it was. It was Biodo again. Oh, no. Biodo again. Brother, for what it's worth, you need to stop letting family affair get interfere with your job. And for the fact is that company doesn't mean you should take it for granted. Come on. I know. Right, I know, and I'm sorry. Oh. Right, I promise you this this will not repeat itself again. Uh, it, it better, it better. I sent you a memo. Hope you got it. Oh yes, I, I saw it. I'm just um, trying to go through this report and I'll look at it again now, Revert. Okay, fine. Um, oh, yes, that's my name. Raymond, you need to watch it. The accountant came complaining to me about you taking loans without paying back. But Raymond, what's happening? I hope he did not mention it at the meeting. Well, he was smart enough to brief me before the meeting and I covered up for you. You know dad would not want to hear about that. Oh, Alex, what's happened to you, Raymond? Look, I know that I'm a mess right now, but I promise you, I'll clean myself up and I'll be fine, all right? Oh. I promise you I'm going to pay back that loan. Well. That's okay. Um, we'll talk about that later, Raymond. But, uh, brother, it's becoming too much of you. Raymond, put yourself together. Come on. Thank you. You know what? I was actually thinking that maybe we could um, take a vacation. A vacation? Yeah. What for? You know, uh, set of makeup. 
you know, just the two of us, you know, away from home, from work, from stress. Björn, my father's party is next week. We couldn't do all of that when we get there. No, baby. Just the two of us. Just to make up for everything. Does it to us? Yeah. You see? Truly sorry for everything. Ah. Uh, you do? Yes. Look at me. I haven't been entirely perfect myself. So I want you to know that I am also very sorry for everything. Okay. It's fine. Have everything in there, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, I just want to put this one up there. Yeah. 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 Sweetheart. Mm. You know, it's been a while we... We shared a moment like this. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that I... I have missed you so much. And I'll do anything within my power to recapture those moments. Uh, Sweetheart, to you, my woman. Okay? I want you to know that. I give my voice to the birds to spread it all around for everyone to hear what it means to me. Are you sure your brother told you what he did? Piotr, he told me everything. Look, I know it might be very difficult for you to forgive him now. But all I'm asking is that you do not take any decision right now. You know you guys are the ones hosting daddy this weekend. I'm sorry. I don't think I want to go back. The kids are there. They'll be fine. My dad used to say something. There are things in life that one must not compromise. And that is one's family's joy. And what happens to my joy? Answer me, what happens to my joy? Piotr, listen to me. We light up our lives when we light up the lives of other people. Miriam, you don't understand what you brought up people. You don't understand. I couldn't even tell my mom. I couldn't believe that Raymond could do that to me. Piotr, listen, I am... I am so sorry. But please, you have to do this for my dad. Piotr, if, if daddy means anything to you, you will do this for him. Please. I could fall in love with you over and over again No matter who you are or where you're from or what you do I could fall Mommy, I'm sorry. I'm going to eat first, okay? Let us eat something. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, but I want to see my mommy. Ramsi, look, I want to go and eat. Are you coming or you're not coming? Eh? Let's I'll lay my, my life mommy. aside to be in your arms right now. I promise you. I'll take it. My baby. <laughs> 
No, I wouldn't oh, let go. Oh, my angel, have your fear. Oh, I'll give my like, no, <laughs> Oh, I've Just missed you. Just it all you. around for oh, everyone oh, to oh, hear oh, what oh, you mean to me. Oh, 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 I could. Oh, oh, Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you for thinking. Thinking it right to, to come around. I appreciate it. I'm sure you know where I can. Yeah. Alright, come on, baby. Let's just go. Get my bag and let's go in, mommy's back. <laughs> I love you. I can help myself. Oh. Mali, so this was what changed you from school, huh? No problem. Since you have chosen that path, so be it. But hear me good, young man. Hear me good. You will marry her. It's a must for you to marry her. Because I won't allow her to have that child outside the block. Whatever you like you do, it's not my business. And listen, young girl. Look, you don't have any problem. I am his mother. Immediately you leave this place, go to your house, tell your parents that ask you to move in with us, pack your things and come back to stay here. Do you hear Mommy, me? I am not ready oh, to my... marry. I'm not marrying her. Wale, there is God. Oh. This was not how we started. Have you forgotten what you promised me? As in, what is wrong with you? What, what promise did I make? Can't you use your head? Oh, 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 oh. You want to turn yourself to Mario because I told you my father owns a big company, Abby? See, see, let me tell you. My father is dead. My mom is a petty trader. There's no money anywhere. Oh, Ali has destroyed my life. How am I going to feed myself and the baby? Oh, Ali has destroyed my life. How am I going to. You destroyed my life. You made me run away from school. How, how did you even get here? You must be a witch. Oh, dear. I don't even know. Is it by force to marry? Is it by force? I don't want to marry. I don't want to marry. It's not by force now. What is it? It's a mistake. It is a mistake, and mistakes are allowed. Leave me alone. Ah. Yes, Daddy. Oh, my <laughs> How hey, Daddy. are you? I'm fine. Raymond, Dad. How are you? <laughs> ah, we're fine. In a few days, my seventh year. That day will, will hold. And I want to celebrate with my family, everybody, well represented. What is this feeling I'm getting about you and them, Beardo? I mean, I don't seem to get the same thing from Alice and his wife. But every time, Raymond, 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 and Pietro, what's going on? Uh, Dad, I don't know what feelers you're getting, but my wife and I are fine. Aren't we, darling? We're, we're, doing, we're doing very well. Oh, really? But your eyes speak volume. I raised you up very well, so the fault cannot be coming up from you. We're fine, Daddy. Trust me. We're not fine. Mm -hmm. Talk to Daddy. Don't, don't, don't tap me, Ramon. We are not fine. We can't do this here. Don't be on me. I can't continue living a life. Talk to me. Don't you tell me what I can do or what I can't do if you cannot tell your father that you have been having an extra marital affair. Your voice, what? 
don't be out with me if you cannot tell your father that you put another woman in the family where Raymond. Raymond? What am I hearing? You heard me. What's and then your on? father will sit here and tell me whatever problems you were having definitely won't be from you. What does that mean? Your son has been having extramarital affairs. And he had the guts to bring his girlfriend into this house, into my matrimonial home. I can't take it anymore. I've had it to fear. All right! <laughs> Fine! Fine! Let, let's lose. Let's, let's talk. All right? Let's open the can of worms. Fine. That, do you know that this idiot here, this girl is building a house. Should I say has already completed the house? In her name, a married woman. She got funding from wherever, built a house in her name. And do you also know that, that I have information from a reliable source that she intends for us to move out of this house and move into her house while I still pay the rent? So now tell me who's the monster? What is the big deal in that I am your wife? I can build a house. What belongs to me belongs to you. That was just a good And you didn't think that it was your wife for you to run it by me first. Why should I run it by you? Because you you're bearing my name. You are my wife. Show some respect, both of you. your home. Fix your home, Raymond. Out of here. Divorce? Is that what it has come to? Hey, oh no, I let that be my shanum yet. What's happening to me? Eh, kill no shellless me, kill no shellless, say your mommy. Just yesterday, I discovered that Wale ran away from school because he put someone in the family way. What? Now you divorced. What's happening? See, see, mom, it's better we part ways because I can't take it anymore. Raymond has pushed me to this point. I can't take it anymore. Wait, wait, what you said about Wale, is it true? We'll come to that. Let's treat you as first. Biodu, uh, have you thought of your children? See, mom, I won't stop him from visiting. Oh, my God. Biodu. Mom, mom, please, please. Don't try to convince me, because I know that's what you won't do. My mind is made up. I can't cope any longer. Raymond is not worth the stress, and I would rather remain single than be stuck in that marriage, Mom. I'd rather remain single. <sighs> huh? that love is a wonderful thing. It can bring new meaning to your life and make you happy in ways that you never thought possible. I've also learned that being in love with someone is not the same thing as someone loving you. They are totally different things. It, most times we just view relationship, love, marriage, just the way we personally want it to be. But that's not the way people see these things. Right? Oh boy. This love thing is becoming a burden to me. I tell you. Because I'm just not getting enough. Alright? <laughs> I'm not getting enough. The question you should ask, Raymond, is Are you in love with that woman? Of course I am. What do you think? I love my wife. Maybe I just do not understand the true concept of love. Maybe it's me. Why? 
because everything that I do, everything that I have brought to this marriage, is that enough for Biodu? Is that enough? So I'm beginning to think, maybe there is something I'm not doing right. I feel isolated most of the time. I mean, I feel like something is not right in my marriage, yet I can't figure it out. Miriam, it's as if Raymond doesn't love me enough. You know that sort of deep love that we watch in movies and then we read in novels that just light up your life you know, and your mood? I don't feel it. You do love ideas based on fictions. We'll always clash with real life. You know our impressions about love are formed from our upbringings. But Miriam, I tried to make this work. I just couldn't do it. That is because you haven't found your MMM. MMM? Yes. What is that? It is your magical marital moment. Piero, it is the moment when you realize that you're truly, finally in love with your husband. I love him and I know that I love him. When I first met my husband, my mom was not in support of us because of our social differences, just like in your case. My dad, he was so supportive. Yes, he helped us. He helped my husband become what he is today. But it was not until my husband became a senator that I actually saw his true color. My husband was a hard nut to crack. He insulted. He abused. He ridiculed me. Yes, but I took all of it. The only thing I kept telling him was that I love him and I respect him. I am telling you, Biodu, that was the turning point in my marriage. You know, Miriam, looking at you right now, nobody will ever believe you went through anything. Biodu, all things are difficult before they are easy. Love is not about possession. Love is about appreciation. Every woman goes through something in marriage. The first rule for a woman to secure her marriage is to first conquer pride. Miriam, our marriage is different from yours. This marriage was headed for the rocks from day one. Peter, why don't you, why don't you try seeing a counsellor? That would be interesting. The mind is made up. I'm getting the ball. Are you a loser? You're always happy. 
Welcome to Pacific Family Life. Uh, please have a seat. Mm -hmm. seat. Oh, a seat, yeah. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> hey, baby. Mm -hmm. That sort of looks familiar. What? Very nice painting. That one. Just like the one at your office, isn't it? I don't have a painting in my office. I mean, I'm not into art like you. Not into art. We like have a lady. If I slap your face off that girl's cleavage, you'll remember. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, sir, can we get on to the day's business? It's sort of roasting in here. Roasting? <laughs> it's freezing. The AC is on its highest. Even I am freezing. <laughs> really? You must be freezing. You're almost naked. How may I help you, please? Obviously, we're here for the family uh, marriage counseling program you do. Or do you have other businesses? Actually, we do. We run a wide range of services from therapy, lifestyle management, communication improvement, etiquette lessons. Oh, please, just spare me before you tell me you do sex training here. Well, actually, we do. It's at the top of the list for our clients. You would love um, it. Well, uh, uh, hello. Yes. Uh, we, um... <clears throat> You know, we have a scheduled appointment to see um, okay. the counselor. Oh, okay. Uh, what's your name? Oh, uh, we are debutants. My name is Raymond. I'm okay. Raymond. Yeah. All right. Let me just check real quick. Oh, unfortunately, your schedule has been cancelled. We schedule for tomorrow, same time though. Are you serious? Yeah. What What happened? I don't know. But I mean, let me give I you think we'll just to film. Man, I'm calm down, okay? I'm sure your problem, husband is probably just stuck in traffic or something. He should have called! Maybe he's not even interested in this whole thing. You know, maybe I should... Calm down. I'm sure he has his reasons. You know what, let me get you a drink, okay? So you can calm down. Let me get you a drink. I'm a drink! Sorry! Show us to the counselor's office. There's one first door you're left. Mr. and Mrs. Abegi, tell you're welcome. Thank you very much, madam. I'll be the counselor in charge of the program. The second half of the first half of it. First half? Yes, our marriage program is a six months program. Six months? Yeah. No, I can't do this. I have better things to do with my time. Then I'm sorry, the Pacific uh, Family Life Center is not for you. Perhaps you could try some other places. Uh, madam, it, it's fine. Um... Oh, we'll have it here, all right? Um, the PFL Center is just fine. You guys come highly recommended, so it's okay. Okay, let's get started then. You can call me Professor Babatunde. Professor? professor? Yes. I'm a professor of psychology. And I'm happily married with kids. Our goal here is to help save your marriage. Wow. Your young life must have been so congested, madam. Don't be deceived by what you say. I have lived the best of lives. I am not as young as I look, and I've been married for almost 25 years. I'm 53. Wow.
Tell me a bit about both of you hmm? and each other. Um, my husband? He's a control freak. He's controlled by two things. That thing and his paycheck. And but I do not have to remind you, Biodu, to blow my paycheck. Do I? Oh yeah, see? <laughs> We've not even started. And we're ready here. Madam, we have a trailer load of problems. Do you think we stand a chance? There is no hopeless situation, only hopeless people. If both of you are willing to talk about it. Hi, Professor. My wife here is bossy and insecure. She wants a control switch in the marriage. She wants to be in control. She wants to call the shots. What? What if I tell you that you depress me? Why are you getting tortured? Abiodun, we're here for something. Why are you getting touched? Why are you taking things personal? Relax and have an open mind. Then please don't say anything that will depress me in the course of this session, okay? Great. Depression does not have to be part of your life. Professor, you don't understand. His middle name is Stress. Stress is common, my dear. You just have to learn to deal with it. Professor, you don't understand. This man freaks me out like Seriously freaks me out. And I'm very sure you make up in bed afterwards. Hello? Must you have an answer for everything? Mm -hmm. I'm not coming back here again. Why is that? That professor is fake. Why would you say that? She's trying to make me look bad in front of you. And I refuse to be intimidated by a service I'm paying for. Uh, a service that I am paying for. Don't get it twisted. Whatever. I can't subject the next six months of my life to, to this. No. I won't come back. Unless we change the counselor. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <a> counselor prefer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What is your problem? Huh? Why are you bugging me with phone calls? Why are you trying to call down my phone? What is it? What, you're trying to end my marriage? But, but baby, please, I, I, I said I'm sorry, please. Stop calling me. Do you hear me? Stop calling me. I'm trying to fix my marriage. Stop calling me. My, my, my love. I made out this check hoping that you will appreciate it and take it. I'm also hoping that it, it, it could serve right now help you fix your immediate problems look Bibel, i know how this looks but the times that you and i shared together was really really good it cannot last forever i'm a married man move on start all over make something out of your life no no right? no my love you cannot do this to me raymond please remember the times we've Stop shared calling. together please Ray raymond please you cannot do this to me you cannot do this baby please baby please you cannot <laughs> No! See, my jealousy have gotten me too. He belongs to me. And me alone. Trust me, I will get my man back at all costs. Trust me. I'm Dr. Babatunde. You can call me Dr. Babs. Okay. I've gone through your files and I'm sure we're going to have wonderful sections together. Hmm. So, do you think we stand a chance, Doctor? Oh, why not? Provided you guys are ready to give it a trial. See, Doctor. The problem is that my husband is selfish. Honestly, I don't know when he became what it is, what he is today. This was not how he started. All of a sudden, doctor, like all of a sudden, he turned to something else entirely. I said, oh, I can't even explain it. Well, every man's need changes erratically. Oh. And once a woman identifies her man's weaknesses, she can capitalize on that and toss him around as she wishes. Very man, so I don't understand why you're talking like this. How about a woman who is responsible, stupid,
lazy, and possessive. What How are about that? Saying? What are you saying? You are such a liar. You're nothing but an egoistic man. What is wrong with you? I'm go, I'm you take egoist. everything so seriously. What, I'm egoistic? What is it going to take you to learn that it's the 21st century and everything? No, is no, it is a no, man's no, world. It's no longer. What, really? Yes. Oh, really? Women do things. Yeah, you women take my father's name. Women do things and they do things that men can And that is why do. you people hit monopause these days before you get married. Oh, seriously? Yeah, because you people have turned out well, to become... This is all she needs, at least twice every day, especially when she begins to read. Can you do that? Really? Oh, well, I don't know what that's for, but look, I'm a working man. All right, I'm a working man. I pick all the bills in the house. I have a very busy schedule. I do not have the time of the day to come back home and begin to pick a woman. Uh, Why are you I, I so, so, so dumb? What he's trying to say is that you need to hug me some more. Simple. Did you just call me dumb? Like, seriously? You know, I didn't mean to call you dumb. Did you just, just, did you just like call me dumb? dumb? No. You're very stupid and uncool. Don't call I'm me dumb. Please, your, stop. Your parents did not call you. I want to your parents. He said he's opting out. But what reason did he give? I don't know. He said he doesn't like the man. He said he's not practical enough. He said... Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. He said he had all sort of nonsense to say. See, Miriam, you know how Raymond can be sometimes. You know. So, what did you plan on doing? What else? I'll opt out as well. I mean, there's no point trying to salvage a marriage that the other party is not willing to keep. No, opting out is not an option. I think the both of you should try to reach a compromise. Okay, why don't you try seeing someone else? Why don't you try seeing an another counselor? Miriam, that will be the third counselor. The first was this woman. She was just unbearable. Miriam, oh my God. And then this doctor came around and now who knows what else they're going to give to us. Piotr, giving up is not an option. You are a woman. You're a keeper. You should keep your family together. about when Raymond asked for a change of counselor we knew we had to deploy a new way to address both of you so my husband and I well, well your husband my husband and my partner wow a doctor and a professor are you people saying we have a lot of problems oh that's far from me what we're saying here is that every marriage has its own peculiarities. So, we're going to split the classes. And I would like to split with you. One and one. Woman to woman. And you, Raymond, it's going to be you and I, man to man. No problem. Abiodun, I want you to tell me how it all started. 
It's a long story. I have all day. Don't you have other clients you want to see today? Be ordered. We both have six months to do this together. So? I don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning. From the very first day you met him, your wedding day, anywhere. Just anywhere. My wedding day. I knew this marriage was headed for the rocks the minute I said I do. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, baby. You know, we fought about everything. We fought about practically everything on that day. She, she, she complained about my black tuxedo the moment she stepped up to my side and out. She complained about the choice of music the band was playing at the time. She complained about the, the suite that we had booked for our honeymoon. She said that the color was too pale. She complained about everything. Our honeymoon was hectic. I can't even remember how I went through it. It was a terrible experience. Look, I hate to admit this, but after the honeymoon was when I began to regret ever getting married to her. So how long have you been married? We've been married eight years. Well, wow, that's a long time. And she's been like this all along? She's been like that. As a matter of fact, she's getting worse by the day. So what triggers her rage? It could be anything. Sometimes it's her mood, sometimes it's the weather. Silly things. Look, I think the bone of contention here is that my wife thinks that I am an irresponsible man who's loose and flirtatious by nature and does not have any kind of control. I think that's her problem. He complains about everything. He says I'm a waste of energy in bed. Yet every time I try something new, he accuses me of cheating. I just can't please him. He finds the fact that I am a successful businesswoman intimidated. Raymond complains about anything and everything. Honestly, Professor, I don't even know what we fight about these days anymore. Did you ever try to talk things over? I mean, talk things out? Talk to Raymond? Raymond doesn't listen. <laughs> He'd rather walk away. That's what he does. He walks away. Find the way out now, Raymond. Walking away is not a solution. You just have to walk away. Communication, effective communication, is the solution. That gives room for both of you to come together and be able to dialogue and reason. That gives you an opportunity to be able to iron it out. If I did not walk away. At the times that I did, I would have done something very stupid. It, look, this whole thing is energy sapping. It feels like hard work. Hmm. Well, it's not about um, hard work. You see, a diamond with a flaw, it's actually better than a pebble without imperfection. This is a lot of work for me. It, it's almost as if I have a point to prove. Like, like when some sort of competition. Do you know how I felt when I realized from reliable sources that she was building a house? I felt like my crown had been taken away from me. I felt that like I had to do something to regain my position as the head of the house. I had to do something to top her. 
So the perfect opportunity came the moment she got that contract and needed some financial assistance. Of course, I couldn't tell her that I wasn't buoyant enough. I had to do something out of the box. So what did you do? I, 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 I stole from my father's company to, to, to raise her the, the money that she needed. And as I speak with you right now, an innocent man has been held down in the police custody for it. All because I wanted to please her. Oh, you see, relationships can be very, very challenging. Right from the various stages of marriage down to cohabiting and childbearing. How about this could actually uh, make us to have bad feelings against ourselves or each other. It's about how ever couples have to learn to adapt and be strong. Whereas here in um, Pacific Family Life, has this, our program is practical oriented, right? And so, uh, Mr. Debuter, the bulk of the whole issue lies with you and your wife. <sighs> Doctor, what do I do? Talk. You have to talk. You create room for dialogue, effective communication. This enables both of you to be able to dialogue, to reason, and work it out, and be able to bond as couples. I love my wife. I still feel fireworks for her when I think about her. I love Piondo, but the moment we, we find ourselves in the same space, the moment we're together, it's a different story entirely. Uh, my brother, you see, the truth is that love is not about breathlessness. It's neither about excitement, not even the desire to mate, you know, every second in a day, right? Love is actually what has led from a burnt out fireworks. As a matter of fact, it's an heart and a fortunate accident. Okay, so you both have to find a way to work it out. Communicate, sit down and work it out. You don't expect to feel the same way you felt the first time after being married for a very long time. But well, that is how it's supposed to be. Love is supposed to be forever. It won't if you don't grow in love. What replaces passion and excitement is longer and more meaningful. Expecting love to be a perpetual explosion of emotion can leave you frustrated and disappointed. Especially when those feelings, you know, when those feelings inevitably subside. Professor. Please help me. I need to save my marriage. What do I do? You want me to teach you my winning formula? Please, I beg you. I love my husband. I love my marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Have you in any way heard of the word compromise? Compromise? Yes, compromise. You see, you have to drop your position as a first child drop your sense of you know a rich business woman and try to put your husband first in every situation like seriously like yeah dropping every ounce of pride <laughs> it's called selflessness are you saying i'm proud Wow. No one has ever spoken to me like that, actually. <laughs> but this sounds like a hard thing to do. What if I do this and it doesn't work? Then try again. This might just be your last chance for love. Both of you need to find solace in each other's embrace once again. <laughs> Did you say embrace? That sounds so very alien to my marriage. Ah. You need to understand one another. Sacrifice for one another. 
communicate with one another at the end of this emotional journey. Both of you need to make a faithful decision as to whether to stay in this marriage or end it. It's okay. Whatever you're thinking, I think I must have done a fantastic job. I made, I made, I made food. I made, I made food. I, I, I hope you like it. All right. I. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? You don't have better am in the kitchen. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I didn't hear you right. I actually thought I heard something. So it's for no. I so made loud. food. Serious. I made food. I didn't want you to come here and be bothered about anything. I made food. Every other thing that you can think of in this house is all sorted. Okay. All right. I'm handling Very the kids. Nice. As you can see, we are happy. Everything is just perfect. You made food. Yes, I did. Wow. I was actually rushing back home to make food. Oh well, it's all taken care of. All right. That's really good. Can you just? Sit? All right. Um, I'm saying. Can you can you take Naomi and your friends to, to your room? Huh? Daddy and mommy wants to talk. Take it easy, baby. Alright guys. Wow. When did um Miriam bring the kids? I did. I did? Why? I mean why? I wanted to help. Wow. Is everything alright, Raymond? I mean, this new thing has sort of freaking me out. Are you sure you're okay? I mean... Yes, I am. See, Raymond, I really didn't mean... You didn't just have to... Shh, it's fine. I'll handle it, alright? You didn't have to take that money for my sake. I'll handle it. Do you want me to help? <laughs> I'd let you know if I need your help. I'm so sorry I put you through all that. I mean, how did your dad take it? Oh, well, as expected. He was heartbroken. Oh, Poor man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take it for granted or anything, you know. Especially with the house, I didn't think it was gonna. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. Sorry. How did you find out anyway? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. All right. All that matters is that you and I are here right now together. And I know for sure that my heart is still in love with you. I love you so much, God. I really do. I am still so in love with you. Sure. We should try and make it work. I really would love to make it work, but this time you'd have to promise. To give me the whole of your love and trust in totality. 
Hold hands with me as we go on this journey and while we age together. I can try. If you want it. I will. I promise. I love you, baby. I want you to know that I would never let you down again. I could fall in love with you over and over again. No matter who you are or where you're from or what you do, I could fall in love. I used to be crazy. I know how you do these things, man. If I could. Uh -oh. I'll take it. No, I wouldn't let go. I'll give my voice to the So, Mr. and Mrs. Adeniz. So, so, <laughs> so now that you guys are truly a section, what do you have to tell us? <laughs> no, go ahead, say something. <laughs> It's your shit. <laughs> Say something. Oh, wow. Well, I'm evidently happy. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid to take the risk if you just see right through. 